Hello Bun Love Chestnuts, it's me, Kate Winchester, and where is Kate Winchester today? In heaven. <laughs> My boyfriend and I said that we loved each other for the first time. Yeah. It was kind of funny, actually, because, like, we were walking to the bus, and, uh, I, you know, he had told me that he felt uncomfortable holding hands because he had gotten his heart broken so many times, but after we've had our conversation, um... I hugged him, and without thinking, I said, I love you, and he said, I love you too, and without thinking about it, I just kind of walked to the bus stop, and then I turned, and I was like, what did you say? <laughs> he was already gone, though, but there were a lot of kids that were just, and I was, I'm sorry, I <laughs> just ran to my bus. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm so excited. I have to like mess with this. Okay, sorry. Anyway, um, I was going to tell you about the time that I was hospitalized from dehydration. Um, so let me just say that this is not fake. Some details that I'm going to say might sound fake, but there, but it's not. You can ask my mom, you can ask everyone that was in the hospital with me. I was 12, and it was very scary, and I'm one of those people, I can't stand water. <laughs> if it's not flavored, I can't stand it. So I won't drink water unless I absolutely have to. Now that I'm older, I got a little bit better, but when I was 12, it took pulling teeth to get me to drink some water. And then, like, a week before it happened, I have learned that whenever my mom gets me a cup of water, she would go to the living room and do whatever, hoping to, hoping that I would drink the water. Well, I would take a few gr drinks and then realize that I didn't want it anymore, so I would sneak to the kitchen, dump it in the sink, and then said, yeah, mom, I drank it, can I have some juice now? Or whatever. And my mom would actually think that I actually drank it, so she would give me some juice. And that would be my new method of letting her think that I drank water, even though I didn't. So I would only get like two gulps in and then dump the rest out. So what I was doing was very serious, but I didn't know about that. So one day we were getting ready for church. Yes, I am Christian. <laughs> Well, I'm more agnostic, but like, yeah, my, my family is all Christian. I'm more of the black sheep of the family. Anyway, um, we were getting, I was getting my hair curled because there was a guy that I liked and, um, you know how girls are, like we want to look nice. We want to look fresh. So I was getting my hair curled and I just remember my stomach feeling like upset, but it hurt at the same time. Like, it was just not a comfortable position. Like, I remember the pain, but I don't know how to explain it to you. And then I remember, like, my vision getting blurry, and then it would just come right back on. And I remember trying to ignore it, but then the stomach pain got really bad, and I just said, ow. And my mom was like, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. And I just remember seeing a really white light, like, it was bright. Like, the stereotypical, you know, when somebody's dying in a movie and then they see the white light. That's what I saw. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, then I was um, in a rose garden. And it was a very beautiful garden. Like, I remember it just smelled, like, the whole entire field smelled like roses. And there were roses everywhere you turned. So, yeah. And then I just woke up on the floor. And I had no idea what happened. I just kind of sat up. My mom was crying. And I was like, Mom? Like, I had no idea what had happened. And then I went to go sit down on the couch. My mom was calling everybody like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And they were like, take her to the hospital. Take her to the hospital. Oh, my God. So we went to the hospital. <laughs> And they checked my vital sign. My, they checked my vital signs, and my mom told them exactly what had happened when I passed out. Apparently, 
After I said, yeah, I'm fine, I started talking, but I started, like, not making sense. Like, I started saying things like pumpkin color on top or something stupid like that. And she said, what? And then, boom, I just kind of went, I fell, like, I hit my chin on the counter. And then I fell flat. So my mom, like, caught me, put me gently on the floor, and then cried and tried to shake me to wake me up like Amberly, Amberly, Amberly. And I started like convulsing, like my shoulders and stuff were going like this. And then I woke up within like, it was, she said that I started convulsing and then I stopped. And then a second after I stopped convulsing, I woke up and yeah, yeah, it was crazy town. But I don't remember any of that. I just remember what I told you. Like, I just remember the rose garden. I just remember waking up on the floor. And after I realized what had happened, I cried. Like, I started crying. And then the doctor decided to do a number of tests. When I said tests, I felt woozy again. Because I felt like... I hate tests. As you know, some of you guys who may or may not know, I hate needles I hate doctors. I hate, I will not go to the hospital unless I am dying. So yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I have a severe fear of any of that stuff. So I got a urine test and then I got an EKG and then they gave me my blood draw. Now that was fun because when I get nervous, my veins hide. So they had to keep like poking me over and over again. There were, they had to get like three different nurses. There was this one nurse who was mean. She just went, you're all relaxed, you're fine, boop. She didn't even like gently put it in, she just went boop and like slid it all the way up. I had a head brush. And when she pulled it out, I was whimpering like a freaking dog. It hurt so bad. And that's probably why I'm afraid now. Like that's probably why it's worse now, but then there were these other nurses that came in, and then they did it right here. And that it, that was what had seemed to get it up. But, yeah, she was distracting me. She was really nice. She was like, so do you have any cats? Like, do you have any dogs? As soon as, as, soon as I started screaming, she was like, do you have any dogs? Do you have any cats? And then I totally forgot about it, and I was talking about my cat, and I was talking about, you know, my brothers and everything like that. And then they were just like, we're done. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? Like, you didn't even start. She goes, yeah, I did. And I was like, oh, okay then. And then an hour later, they came back and they were like, we can't find anything on her blood, so it's probably just dehydration. So my mom was like, okay. So basically, the doctors gave me these two jugs. I'm not even freaking kidding you. They were huge. And they told me to drink it. They told me to drink all of it, or at least half of it, before I can go home. So, I drank some of it, and they were like, drink more, drink more. And I was like, I can't, my stomach hurts. And they were like, okay, well then, let's give her a few more minutes until her stomach stops hurting. And then, yeah. So, they gave me a few minutes, and it didn't stop hurting. So, they got scared for a second. So, they just kind of sat there and watched me to make sure that I was doing okay. I was doing okay. It was probably just like the after effects of passing out or whatever. So yeah. So after that, I was able to drink a decent amount enough to where they were like, okay, yeah, you can go home now. So I went home and <clears throat> I had a friend come over. That friend was younger than me by a lot. Like right now she's in seventh grade. I'm a junior in high school. So yeah. She's pretty young. So when I was like 12, she was barely like five or six or seven, something around there, something around there. So she followed me like a puppy dog. She was so scared for me. She was like, she apparently cried when she heard what had happened. When she heard what had happened, my mom invited her friend, the one with the kids, and she was like, I need you to come over, you know, or whatever. And so they were over there. So when I went home, we're just going to call her Tasha. Tasha was there. And she was like, Amberly. And she started crying as soon as she saw me. 
and then she hugged me and she was like let's go play let's go play and I just got back from the hospital like five minutes ago I do not feel good so I'm just kind of sitting there like yay <laughs> I just had my I was poked and prodded I have been I had to take my shirt off so that they could put EKG electrodes on me I did not feel good at all. I just wanted to go to bed, but they told me not to sleep because, well, they didn't tell me like not to sleep like ever. They just told me not to sleep for like 12 hours because they wanted to make sure that it was nothing more than dehydration. They, I mean, all of the tests came up positive for, came up negative for anything that could have been wrong, but still, like you want to make sure you want to be safe. So... They were like, if anything seems weird, bring her right back, you know, things like that. So, they were fearful that I, that if I go to sleep too soon, that I could have like a seizure again or something like that. I don't remember why, why they were scared of me falling asleep, but yeah. But I was extremely tired, so my mom had me drink nothing but water that whole entire day. Every, I would even go to the bathroom and not even be allowed to be alone. Like, my mom... And it was either my mom or Tasha that followed me everywhere. And I'm just like, I'm just going to go pee. And then Tasha, she was a smart enough kid to ask this question. And she goes, but I thought you were hydrated. Hydrated meaning dehydrated. She's so cute. She, and I was like, and I said, yeah, I was. And she goes, well, then how are you able to pee? <laughs> I said, because if I was that dehydrated, I would be dead. And then she goes, okay, so you can be. <laughs> and I was like, yes, now can I be alone? <laughs> so she let me be alone to pee. So yeah. And then ever since then, every time I get an upset stomach, but it feels like, um, but it feels unusual, I get scared that I might pass out again. So I always check for signs of me being dehydrated because, oh wow, I'm dehydrated right now. <laughs> but um, now I gotta go get water because I'm terrified of passing out again. Passing out was not so fun. So yeah, I learned a lesson in this and I told the story because I just thought like and water would be nice <laughs> to have like all of a sudden. I get in those weird moods. Like I did say that I don't like water, but there'll be some day I'm, I'm sitting there. Like the rest of my life, I'm like, mm, I hate water. Nope, nope, no. Nope. But especially in the summer, I'll just be sitting there randomly like nothing could be going on and then all of a sudden I want water <laughs> so I was doing that and then I was like remember that time when I got dehydrated and I was like that'd be a good story I had to tell you this story because there are a lot of people that are like I'm not gonna drink that water mm -mm, I'm not drinking that water dehydration cannot happen to me but yes it can Yes, I can, because I did not expect to get dehydrated. I wasn't showing any signs. My mom even did the whole dent thing, and it was perfectly okay. I did not, and I didn't even know about the urine thing. Oh, and another another way you can tell if you're dehydrated is if your pee is, like, really, really, really yellow, and it stinks. That is how you know that you are dehydrated. I didn't tell you to be nasty. I told you that because it's it's medical, and it's important. So, yeah, if your pee stinks, drink water. If your pee is really, really yellow, drink water. If your pee is clear, then that's good. You're not dehydrated. Like, that's normal. You're, it's normal for your pee to at least be clear or have a little bit of yellow into it. And that, that's fine. Why am I talking about pee? <laughs> I just went from talking about water to pee. I'm so immature. I can only be mature for like four seconds and then I'm like, hey, hey pee. <laughs> but yeah, make sure that you get plenty of water. Drink water every morning and every night before you go to bed and before you go to school because it increases, it decreases your appetite for one and it's just healthier. Like it helps your skin and your body and shit. So, yeah. Anyways, I had a fun time, but unfortunately, it is time for the little chestnuts to go back into their little bundles. I love you guys. Don't forget to stay body positive. Kate Winchester out. Hasta la bye-bye. God bless your nutty little hearts. Don't forget to go nuts. Mwah.